testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. That's a rough start to today's show. All right, guys. Um, good news, great news. Benavidez versus Plant is official March 25th. Um, a lot of good boxing news going on. We're gonna get into all of it, but this show is gonna be dedicated to that. I'm gonna touch on the other stuff, but we're gonna dedicate this show to that. Before we get into all the latest breaking news, um, please like, share, and subscribe, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into uh, today's show, guys. Um, yeah, David Benavides. And Caleb Plant, official, March 25th in Las Vegas, the MGM Grand Arena. That's great news. Um, you know, these guys have been on each other's radars for a while now, uh, going all the way back to 2017, believe it or not, um, when Benavides won his world title. It was six years ago, five and a half years ago already. Um, you know, Benavides is 26 now. He was 20 at the time, I believe. I think he was 20 when he won that world title. Um And, you know, Plant called him out at that time. Plant went on to, to win a world title. And, you know, Plant's done big things as well. Um, but, you know, so two former super middleweight champions. Benavides is, is, is 26 and 0. And you go back at that particular time in 2017. It was September of 2017 that he outpointed uh, Ronald Gravel in a great fight. Uh, split decision victory. I, I thought he won. He came back. Uh, about five months later, early 2018, beat him again. Uh, this time, much, much wider. Uh, then he destroyed Jay Leon Love on the uh, Spence Mikey Garcia undercard. Picked up a win over Durrell. And then, uh, in a good fight, in a, in a fight the dog was competitive. And you know, a- after that, uh, things really started to fall apart for him. Uh, Benavides, you know, lost his title, vacated his title. He, well, he was stripped of his title. This one, he was stripped of his title. Um, and uh, he, he had tested positive for cocaine, and he told WBC, uh, Mauricio Suleiman, that he had do, done coke and hookers in Mexico. I, I'll take that. I'll accept that it's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> because I, why would you make that up? Um, I'll assume that that's true. Uh, then he went on. He got a win over uh, former Alexis Angulo to regain the vacant WBC belt. Um, and then he, he lost the belt, uh, on the scales. He, he, uh, missed weight very badly in that fight. Um, then he has the win over Ellis, Kieran Davis. Um, and then he, he won the interim title with, uh, David Lemieux. He destroyed Lemieux in three rounds. So he's, he's got... Six knockouts in a row. Uh, the last time he didn't get a knockout was was the two Ronald Gravel fights. So it's 2018. Um, you know, it, it's not that he's necessarily been inactive. You know, he did fight just once in 2022, so it's going to be 10 months out of the region. I'm not exactly sure why PBC is doing this, but I think they're having issues getting dates and they just can't keep these guys busy. Uh, but David Benavides is, is – you know, as good as it gets, really. I mean, he, he's really good on the inside. He can walk you down. He can bully you. He can do so many things. I mean, he's a top-notch fighter. He's a world beater at 168 pounds. This guy a lot of people think can give Canelo trouble. And it's a great fight because I, I, I think Caleb Plant with Breadman, Stephen Edwards, is – that's a really good combination. I, I think – um, you look at the, the success he had with Kieran Davis, the success he had with J-Rock, uh, Stephen Bredman Edwards, uh, and Caleb Plant. I knew that was a marriage made in heaven. Um, I knew that was a really good fit. Edwards is really good at taking fast fighters and kind of having them sit, or, or, you know, speedy fighters, fighters who like to use the ring, um, 
and really have him sit down their punches and not sacrifice any of their speed. Right? He, he utilized, you know, a lot of times you'll see fighters like Caleb Plant did before getting with Steve but He was kind of, you know, pulling his punches a little bit, um, you know, not wanting to give up the speed, right? He's not fully committing to his punches. You don't see that as you don't see that now. And, and you see he's sitting down. You know, I've always said Plant has snap on his punches. He just needs to use that snap, right? He needs to learn how to really you know, turn over his punches and sit down on his power. Breadman Edwards, he had the knockout of the year in 2022. Breadman has him doing that. Um, so this is a really good fight. You know, if the fight is in the trenches, you would think it favors Benavides, and it still might, because Benavides is, is a master class on the inside. But Caleb Plant is so much faster. He can just outwork him, outpunch him, get him coming, and get him going. He can't stand in with him. But he can do what Stephen Fulton did. With Brandon Figueroa, kind of execute that, right? Figueroa is a bigger puncher. He's the better inside fighter, right? But Fulton was able to really, really fight on the inside and dig on the inside. Um, I, I think Caleb Plant can do some of that. I, I don't know if he can do it as good as Fulton. You know, ultimately, Caleb Plant's still going to want to use his speed, use his power, uh, use his speed and, and circle, use, his, use the ring, not use his power, use the ring, you know, and then – pick his spots to fight on the inside, but I think he can hold his own and outwork him on the inside. Now, he doesn't want to sit in with Benavides, who's an animal for all 12 rounds. That's not, that's not the formula of success. <laughs> I guess it was for Fulton with Figueroa. Um, Fulton is going to be fighting, uh, but we'll get into that real quick. But I, I think this is a 10 out of 10 fight. Also, it's on pay-per-view. Guys, this is a great fight, right? It's a great fight. It's not even for a world title, though, right? It, it reminds me of when Benavides Better be um, Fort Vosdick, right? And it was a great fight, hardcore junkies fight, right? We were all into it, and it was on ESPN, so it was great. This is on pay per view, guys. They're gonna put this behind a seventy dollars price point, and that's a shame because it's a great fight, and now no one's gonna watch it. Um, it's just unfortunate, you know. I I did a show before the tank fight. I said Tank Hector Garcia is a low key, really good fight. And they're putting it behind a $70 price point, which means no one's going to watch it. Um, this is a great fight. No one's going to watch it. They got us. 61,000 pay-per-view sales is what R R Glazer reported. Uh, do we believe Glazer? I, I don't care. I don't know. But that's not good, man. That is not. That is 60,000 is not a good number. We're going to do a pay-per-view show. Um, I think we're going to do it tomorrow. Why? It is what it is. You know? Um, it, it, these numbers aren't going to get better. They hit you with a pay per view every month, so you need to pay eight dollars a month to be a boxing fan. Plus, all of your it's, it's ridiculous at this point, right? We're not golf fans. We're not made of money, right? We're not country club people. We're, we're fight fans. It, it is what it is. Um, it's not a great look. It's not good for the sport. And now you've got this great fight. You're gonna, you kind of keep hiding behind these price points, but are you right? Because the market. Is smarter than the market maker. The market maker reacts uh, to the market, and the market says we're going to stream this on a, a zillion different streaming services. On, on you know different streams, you could get. I'm not going to name them, but you know what they are. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to do it. Crack streams? No, I'm not going to do it. Search sports? I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to name. I'm not going to say you can go to search sports. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to say you can go to crack streams and get. The, I'm not going to do any of that. I'm not going to do that. But you, there's places that you can go that you can get this fight. But you shouldn't do that. You should not go to search uh, sports search and get it. You should not go to crack streams and get it. You should not do that. Um, but these are these are this is a great fight. And it's a shame that they're putting it behind this price point, but I don't even know if it matters anymore because we're all just going to stream it anyway. So, like, what, what the big, what's the big deal? What the big deal is? It doesn't matter anymore. Um, it's a great fight. I'm leaning towards Benavides, but I'm 50 50 on this. I am. Caleb Plant's got a real shot with this. I think Caleb Plant without Stephen Edwards had no shot. Uh, Caleb Plant with Stephen Edwards. It's a 50-50 fight. It's a really good fight. I, I, I think Stephen Edwards is that much of a difference maker. Um, let me know what you guys think um, on that. Also, Inouye and Stephen Fulton, Haney and Loma, big news coming in all over the place. 
Uh, Brandon Vigoro and Mark Masato is official because, in a way, and Fulton. So, big news is coming out all around. Please like, share, and subscribe. Boxing is fire right now. Uh, please uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog on all forms of social media. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, it is January 18th, 2023, uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless y'all. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.